This is the Complete Snap Fastener Kit, and it comes in this waterproof OtterBox storage case. It includes everything you need to do snaps. Here's a cloth to cloth snap insulation, and we're using the 8th inch hole cutter that's included in the kit to punch the hole in for the button and the socket. We include two sides of barrel links, one for thicker assemblies, the quarter inch. Here's the deluxe insulation tool, and you notice uh, each side has a different shape. This side's for the button. Insert the button on the anvil, then insert the barrel's button through that hole that you just punched. Here's the socket on the top side. The tool comes with a punch to roll that rivet over. Take a hammer, give it a few blows until that rivet is rolled tightly on top of that socket. Give it a twist here with your fingers to make sure that it's installed appropriately. If not, give it a few more blows with the hammer. This is the top side of the socket, and here is the bottom side button and socket. Moving on to the eyelet and stud, again punch a hole, then use that deluxe insulation tool and insert the eyelet on the opposite side of that anvil. Place the eyelet barrel through the hole and then place the eyelet stud on top as shown here. Take the insulation tool and then roll that rivet barrel over until it's nice and tight with a few blows from a hammer. Not tight enough? Few more. There we go, nice and tight. There's the bottom side. Now we're going to show you how to remove a snap. This can be done for either the stud or the button. You'll notice here we're using a 3 16th inch drill bit and you can see that that uh, eyelet is actually rotating inside of this eyelet stud. So we're going to have to take some pliers to the back side to hold it from rolling. On older snaps, you'll find that this is not necessarily needed because the snaps are actually usually bonded together. But on new snaps, this is how you do it. Easily removed with a drill bit. If you have three panels of fabric that you want to secure together, use the gypsy snap. Here's one, two, and three. We're gonna, we've already installed the uh, button and socket and the eyelet and stud. Now we're going to take panel two, the middle panel, and insert a hole to, to install the gypsy snap and this socket. Here's the gypsy snap at a close-up look. All it is is basically just a stud that uh, has a barrel on it. We need to make sure that you position the gypsy snap correctly, so make sure you think this through. You don't want the gypsy snap backwards for the Euro panel installation. Once you've figured that out, then just insert the gypsy snap uh, barrel into the hole that you've created and then place the socket on the back side. For this installation, we're going to have to roll this uh, panel around so that the gypsy stud is facing the deluxe installation tool anvil. It will not fit on here securely, but this is all that's necessary to uh, roll that rivet over. Now do this carefully, otherwise you may actually smash the stud side of the gypsy stud. So you make sure that you, your blows are gentle and soft until that uh, rivet is rolled over nicely on top of that socket. This is a cloth to cloth to cloth installation. We're going to also show you a cloth to cloth to surface installation next. There are the three panels already, and here's how they snap together. The bottom panel, panel 1, has an eyelet and stud and eyelet. The second panel has a gypsy stud and socket. And the top panel, the third panel, has the button and the socket. And there's how they snap together and unsnap. Now let's show you the gypsy stud in a cloth to cloth to surface application here. We've already installed the uh, screw stud in this board. We're going to call this panel 1. So here it is with the uh, gypsy stud installed with the socket on the back side and here's the button with the socket. And that is a gypsy stud cloth to cloth to surface application. So those are included also in your kit. Now here's a screw stud. We have two different sizes, either the 5 eighths or the 3 eighths. We uh, drill a hole in whatever hard surface you're drilling in. This is a wood application. You can also do this for fiberglass. Then take a Phillips screwdriver and screw it in securely. That's cloth to surface as shown here. Everything you've seen in this video is included in this complete snap fastener kit, except for the mallet and also the rubber cutting block. You'll also find good instructions that make it easy to install any kind of these snaps as shown in this video. I'm Eric Grant, and for everyone here at Sarah Wright, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.